One of my personal favorites is uh, a middle gray tone paper and a Conte pencil. And you have to pay attention to the value of the paper. It's really good when you're beginning to kind of um, do a value scale on the paper. You know, establish what the lightest and darkest values are that you can achieve. Um, this allows you to establish um, a gesture extremely quickly. Um, so one of the things when you choose the tone, the tone of the paper and the tone of the material is that you choose something that complements each other. So a tone gray would work great with black and white. Um, and it may not be the best choice to use a browner or sepia tone with it. Um, one, one of the nice things about this particular paper is that the value of the paper itself is right around 5. You know, if the value is around 7 relative to the darkest you can go, then you're going to be working mostly in the white, and so this is going to be a very balanced drawing experience. With the tone paper, you do need to have one of these hard erasers, um, and we can talk about uh, in a different segment about what eraser is best for what purpose. But when you want to lay down a, uh, when you want to lay down white, you need to make sure that you erase the black first. So when you do your poster here, you poster black and you poster white, you'll notice that the um, that the lighting of the image progresses very, very quickly. You almost immediately establish a sense of, of light and dark. And this really quickly establishes the basic value pattern of your drawing. You know, you develop your shadow core, develop your cast shadow a little bit, start pushing the values apart, begin differentiating everything, you know, beginning to identify the highlight location, begin to work your way out to the edges, then as you anchor and find your darkest areas and your lightest areas, then the drawing really begins to emerge and the rendering speed becomes very obvious with this. From here, it's just a matter of carrying it out, finding your edges, and rendering. With the speed that you can render at this, you can uh, cut your drawing time down by half or more, really, I think, to see a sphere, a basic sphere emerge. You know, it's very quick and, and not particularly considered, but you get an idea for what the what the medium feels like. And the neat thing about this is that if you need to add in uh, contour um, to help with uh, definition or emphasis, um, you can move around the object and you can actually switch switch pencils and emphasize the contour with uh, two different uh, media. And that's really kind of an, an exciting opportunity. And one of the things you want to watch out for is that if you have laid down an area as being light or bright, you don't want to begin uh, mixing and overlaying these layers. It's just um, not as effective and it's easy to screw up.